thought I would uh, show some of the other cool parts of this game. Now this has daily challenges, uh, much like a lot of the other games that I play. I'm sure you remember I did a lot of 20xx dailies. <laughs> uh, up until recently, I just haven't played it that much. They made some changes I didn't really like. But uh, what's cool about this is it has a pretty nice integration with the progression system. Like if you just participate in the daily, you get a default reward, but the better that you rank uh, when the daily is going to refresh, uh, whatever your leaderboard is, your leaderboard position is when the daily is going to reset or change, uh, you'll get a bonus. Like I just got the top 50% bonus on the last daily, which just ended about 10 minutes ago, so I got the third prize there, the one in blue. Pretty cool so far. I haven't seen a single daily repeat yet. I think I've participated in like two or three dailies now, and I haven't seen any of them repeat. Some of them seem pretty tight. Uh, yesterday, it was uh, one we had to speed run and get, I think it was like a dozen chests. Uh, towards the end of it, like the, the variance between the, the places was like only a couple points. So it's definitely pretty exciting. You have a crafting system, which is how you upgrade weapons. Uh, it's kind of like other games, other roguelikes. It's just uh, when you craft them, you don't instantly get them in your inventory. It unlocks them for use in your runs. Kind of like, you know, Isaac, 20XX, Nuclear Throne, all those games. You unlock it and, you know, you can get it in future runs. Now, I've only played for about roughly two hours, so I don't have that much yet. Lots of upgrades. It also has a, a new game plus. Uh, it reminds me, it's a lot like uh, reincarnating into Skya. As you can see here, um, if you get enough of the, the high tier shards, you can basically rebirth your character and get nice stat bonuses, but you lose all your stuff, so it's <laughs> very similar to uh, reincarnating into Skya. What seems like what the juicy thing is, aside from the stat increases that you get, uh, there's a 20% chance that enemies will drop a shard when they die, which means that uh, you'll be able to upgrade a lot faster. It seems like on Rebirth 5, you get a 100% chance, so everything you kill is going to have a shard. So you probably would be able to get pretty significant uh, upgrades faster. Now, I really don't know for sure, but there's some people on the leaderboards that are Rebirth 5, and I imagine it does make a difference in the rankings in some ways. So the way this works is you have these shards here. And whatever rank you put in is how much of a stat boost you'll get for that particular ability. Like right now, uh, this is crit accuracy. It gives you a chance for 50% bonus damage. It's just like any other game you've ever played uh, that has crit bonus. See, I have the, the blue one, which means I get a 6% chance. If I just had a generic one, it would be 2. And if I had the best one, it would be 10%. And how many... How many shard value, like cumulative shard value, you have will unlock other perks. And there's several categories here. So what I want to do is I want to go for I want to go for the dashing one and movement speed. That sounds like right up my alley. Go fast. So I'm gonna put one of these in here. Now I have 63 total shards. So once I get some more, uh, I can actually work on these. So I'm just going to put some generic ones in here now. And you can actually remove the shards at will. So if you get a, a higher tier shard, you can replace it and get something else instead. I'm going to go ahead and do the daily. This is completely blind, I haven't tried it yet, so whatever happens, happens. Anyway. Wanted to show more of the mechanics of the game more than the actual gameplay.
know, you can try this as many times as you want until the daily expires. So if you want to grind it out, if you're really desperate for that upgrade, there's nothing stopping you from, uh, from trying as much as you want to your heart's content. Even if you die, you get a uh, you get a ranking on the board. Like you get a prize just for participating. But the higher score that you get when the score the daily is going to refresh, uh, that will determine what prize you get. And it's, it seems like it's actually really worth doing your dailies because uh, at least at the beginning of the game, I think I'm maybe like halfway through it now. Uh, I think there's 25 levels. I've gone through at least 10, so approaching the halfway point. It is really nice to have the shards because you can upgrade your gear and your perks a lot faster. So I'll go ahead and I'll try again now that I know the layout a little better. Game also has a speedrun mode which has seeds, which I think is pretty cool. So if this ever does get a uh, you know a speedrun community, people will be able to play on the same you know footing as everyone else. Let's see where I ranked with that garbage unoptimized run. See, right now I'm number four, but the challenge has only been active for, what, 20 minutes now? So I imagine around this time, it's 5.20 p.m. my time, so the challenge with, challenge resets at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. There's probably going to be a lot more people, so you tend to have to go on, like, at least at some point the next day to defend your title, depending on how many people are playing. Seems like it's actually getting a pretty decent audience now that it's out of early access. I kind of feel bad that, uh, I knew about this game for a while, but I didn't really touch it until it came out of early access and I got that key from Keymailer, but I'll definitely be, uh, playing the dailies with this along with 20XX probably in the near future. Anyway, that's a little bit of an overview. Uh, that's basically most of the mechanics. Uh, I'll be explaining more and putting up more footage later. Catch you guys later. Peace.